Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture of this subject CAD CAM. This is Mr. Suyog Patil working as a system professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sharad Institute of Technology, College of Engineering, Adrao, Itzalkaranji. In this lecture, we are going to see the methods of part programming. Okay. In the previous lecture, we already discussed that the manual part programming and computer assisted part programming. The remaining methods of this part programming we are going to discuss in this lecture. So first of all, we will see the, what is mean by this part programming. So this numerical control part programming is the procedure by which sequence of processing steps, okay, sequence of these instructions or we can say sequence of this processing processing steps to be performed on this NC machine. Again, it involves the preparation of this punch header tape okay, or other input medium, then used to transmit the processing instructions to the machine tools. Okay, that means this part programming used to transmit this, this is instructions to this machine, okay, machine tool. Then there are two types of this part programming, manual part programming and computer aided computer assisted part programming. Okay, so it is called CNC part programming. Then again, in order to prepare this part programming, the programmer decides the order of this machining operations required to produce on the component. Okay, so this programmer requires to decide or uh, decide the order of the sequence, order of the machining operations or the sequence of the machining operation, as well as this programmer should define, first of all, the geometry of this object or geometry of the component. He must decide the tool path. Okay. Then again, the choice of the machine tools and the cutting tools depends upon these operations. Okay, on this, this choice of this tool, selection of this cutting tools and the selection of the machine is again depends on the operations that we are going to carry out on this, on the work piece. Then again, each line of the program is numbered in sequence. Okay, it is numbered in the sequence. Then again, details of those operations are stated and x y z coordinates are given okay x y z coordinates of this coordinate system is used to define this part program then methods of this cnc part programming so there are five basic methods of this cnc part programming when it is called as manual part programming or sometimes it also it is called as z code programming okay then computer assisted part programming that is apt then manual data input, NC programming using CAD CAM, computer automated part programming. Okay, these are the various few methods of this part programming we will discuss in brief. First one it is manual part programming. Okay, so to prepare a part program using this manual method, the programmer writes the machining instructions on a special form. Okay, it is called as the part programming manuscript. Okay. Then this processing instructions are documented on this pro, uh, part pro, on this form and that is called as the part program manuscript. Then the instructions must be prepared on a very precise manner. Then because of this typist prepares this NC tape directly from this manuscript. So this manuscript is directly used to prepare this man uh, to prepare this NC tape. Then again the manuscript from for two axis PTP or point to point operations and for three axis contouring machines would be different. That means for two axis point to point operations and for three axis contouring machine operations, this manuscript should be different. Then this manuscript is, is a listing of these positions of this tool relative to the workpiece. Okay, this manuscript should contain these positions or these relations of this tool and this workpiece okay that the machine must follow in order to perform this processing or this operation while performing this operation the machine should follow this sequence of the operation mm. then again the listing may also include other commands such as speed feed depth of cut then tooling etc etc okay this listing also this and again punch the tape is the then prepared directly from this manuscript. This manuscript is used to prepare used to prepare this punched tape. Then second method is computer assisted part programming. Programmer prepares the set of processing instructions in a high level computer language. Okay. 
programs can be prepared for the simple operations by using manual programming method okay but for this complex operation complex jobs or complex processes the computer assisted power programming is used okay and the programmer prepares a set of processing instructions in on a computer language that is programs then for complex job this computer language is much easier to use the lower level coding required for this required in the manual part programming okay also the high level language commands are in, interpreted by this computer okay and the required calculations and data processings are com accomplished to prepare the nc program for the tape reader okay that means this required calculations in this operations and as well as to pro in order to process this some of these instructions okay this nc programs are used computerized numerical programs are used this nc program nc computer assisted part program helps to prepare this kind of this programs then next one method is it is manual data input okay this manual data input mdi involves the entry of part programming data cmdi involves the entry of the part programming data through a crt display at the machine site itself okay and hence the use of this punched tape is avoided so we can see here in on this screen machine screen machine site itself the programmer is going to input this instructions okay or going to enter this instructions okay then mdi systems are designed to facilitate the part programming process by using an inter interactive mode to assist the operator through this programming steps okay or again we can see here this nc program is entered directly into this machine control unit mcu at the site of this processing machine itself okay on the site of this processing machine this nc program is entered directly on this machine then no computers are used here or no punch the tapes are also used here so therefore this use of the tape punch the tape is avoided here okay punch the tape is not necessary in this manual data input mdi the programming procedure is simplified to permit <coughs> machine operators rather than part of programmers to do the programming therefore it is simplified for the operators machine operators okay then next method it is nc part programming using cad cam in this method of part programming the portions of the portions of the procedure usually done by the part programmer okay and are instead of instead done by this computer in this system the part of the program program is done by the programmer instead of this computer okay an advanced form of this computer assisted part programming in which an interactive graphic system equipped with this nc programming software is used to facilitate the part programming task okay this part programming task is performed in in this cad cam system an interactive graphic system is used in this system the two main tasks of this programmer are that is the defining the part geometry first task of this programmer is defining the part geometry and second one it is the specifying the tool path okay these are the two main tasks of this programmer and the advanced cad cam systems automates portion of this both this tasks okay this both the tasks are automated in this advanced cad cam system the term cad cam means computer aided design and computer aided manufacturing in this method of method the programmer works on the cad cam workstation to enter the machining commands okay this machining commands or this instructions are directly entered on this cad cam workstation okay in this part programming using cad cam then again actions directed by this commands are displayed on the graphics monitor okay which provides visual feedback to the programmer okay so this programmer will get this feedback from this graphic monitor okay also certain portions of this programming cycle are automated by this nc programming software to reduce this total programming time required okay so pro part of this programming cycle are automated in this nc programming software to reduce this time required to prepare this programming okay. then next method of this part programming is computer automated part programming okay 
in this method it automates the complete part programming task okay using software that is capable of making logical and equi intelligent decisions about how the part should be machined okay so in this automated part program computer automated part programming the complete part programming task is automated using the software okay and the software that that is capable with this logical or taking decision making decisions about this logical and other intelli intelligent decisions in this computer automated part programming then adaptive control the adaptive control is the control method used by a controller which must adapt to a controller system okay with programmer with parameters which vary or are initially uncertain okay the parameters which continuously varies or initially the parameters which are uncertain uh, while controlling these such a parameters this adaptive control system is used by the programmer the foundation of this adaptive control is parameter estimation which is a branch of a system identification okay so it is the adaptive control is nothing but the parameter estimation this adaptive control system is a also called as this logical extension of this cnc mechanism okay this adaptive control system is also a logical extension of the cnc mechanism in cnc mechanism this cutting speed and feed rates are prescribed by the part programmer okay this cutting feed and speed and spindle speed or speed rates are prescribed by the programmer then also the determination of these operating parameters depends on the knowledge and experience of the programmer okay and this regarding the workpiece tool material and coolant conditions and other factors okay these parameters that is workpiece tool materials and coolant conditions knowledge and experience of this programmer is used in this adaptive controls then by contrast in adaptive control machining there is improvement in the production rate and reduction in the machining cost as a result of calculating this calculating and setting of optimal parameters during this machining okay so in this adaptive control system optimal parameters are used so therefore there is improvement in the production rate production rate is improved and this machining cost is reduced here okay by using this adaptive control system then this origin of this adaptive control means this adaptive control machining is originated out of this research in early 1970s okay and it is sponsored by us air force okay this adaptive control system originated in 1970s 1970 and sponsored by us air force and initial adaptive control systems were based on this analog devices representing the technology at that time okay and today nowadays this adaptive control uses microprocessor based the controls okay and it is typically integrated with the existing cnc systems nowadays the cnc systems are built with this adaptive control systems directly okay then again where to use this adaptive control system this adaptive control is not suitable for every machining of situation it is not suitable for all the machines or all the every machining situation but in general the following characteristics can be used to identify situations where this adaptive control can be beneficially applied okay so therefore in this in these cases we can apply this adaptive control system efficiently okay the in process time consumes a significant portion of the machining time cycle okay process time in process time is is significant than this machining cycle time so in that case we sh we should use this adaptive control okay in that case we should use this adaptive control so therefore we can reduce this process time okay in this operation then there are significant sources of this variability in the job for which ac adaptive control can be compensate okay sources of the variety of this job is there in such a cases this adaptive control system can be used the cost of operating the machine tool is high okay when the machine tool operating cost is high in in that case or in such a applications also this adaptive control system is system can be used the, the typical jobs involves steel titanium and high strength alloys in in such a applications or in such a jobs this adaptive control system can be used friends thanks for watching this video if you like this video please share comment and like this video then subscribe to my youtube channel 
and click on the bell icon to get notified for more videos on this CAD CAM subject. And thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you so much.